going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're returning the subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i'm gonna talk to you about a story that happened this happened months ago but now it just made news because the woman that you see pictured up here has just been sentenced as of recently and this jiffy pop tyrant her name is dominique uh Knowles. She's 32 years old, right? This woman, ladies and gentlemen, got four kids. She left three of them at home. At uh, And they're twin girls age seven with special needs. A 10-year-old uh, girl. And she has an eight-month-old son who she took with her when she traveled from Cleveland to Miami for three days while leaving these children in the house. Fend for themselves. Now... I'm going to show you this video. And you know, I, I talk about a lot of different topics on my channel and neglect it's one of them, especially dealing with children. There's no excuse to do this uh, type of stuff. It's like a lot of times parents or people that have children think their children are as smart as they are and have survival instincts of them who've been on the planet way longer than your kids and think common sense is just something you're born with. It's not the case. Take a look at this story and we'll come back and talk about it. Turning out to a shocking story that even had police wondering what was she thinking? A mom leaving her children home alone while she took a trip down here to South Florida for cosmetic surgery. Lauren Livingston is right here with us with more. Three days. That's how long these three children were left home alone without even a phone to use. And police say their mom was more than a thousand miles away and then lied about where she was and what she was doing. Ohio police say this 32 year old mom put her kids in danger when she left them home alone for three days while she took a trip to Florida for a liposuction. Officers say Dominic Knowles would check in via FaceTime or monitor them from the home's security cameras. Police department. Yeah. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. But if it wasn't for a concerned teacher, police may have never known a fourth grader and her two seven-year-old twin sisters with special needs were home alone. She kind of reported to her teacher that she talked to mom on the, on the camera last night and that mom ordered them Uber Eats and left it at the door. Police say the apartment was filthy. There was liquid all over the floor. Officers were there when one of the twins slipped and fell. Oh, Are you okay? Prosecutor Michael Maloney was horrified when he got the case. The remote works one thing, remote mom is another. Police tracked down the grandmother. Do they always stay here like this? No, my daughter, her friend's in the hospital. She says she wasn't even aware her daughter had gone out of town. No, no, it was worse. Um, mom lied to her mother. There were adults that were available to help out. Detectives say Knowles took her eight-month-old son with her but left her three other children at home near Cleveland. She allegedly denied leaving the state, but police were able to prove she spent two nights down here in Miami. She lied. We have pretty good technology and pretty trained detectives. They showed her leaving Hopkins Airport, timed the calls showing mom at uh, an airport in Miami. And when mom was confronted with that, she changed her story and said something about having to be in Miami because her friend needed liposuction surgery. Knowles was arrested and charged with child endangerment. Announce yourself, Dominique. There was a patio door that was unlocked when the officers were there. Every teacher and counselor at the school said, there is no question these girls would have wandered off. Wow, this all happened back in February, but the details are just now surfacing because Knowles was found guilty for child endangerment. Today, she avoided jail time, though, and instead was ordered to serve 360 days of house arrest, five years of probation, plus fines and mandatory counseling. Christy. That's some trifling shit, and I'm just being honest with you. That is very neglectful, and this woman knows better. She knows better. 32 years old, you ain't got a lick of sense. You sacrifice going over there to get lipo or be with somebody that got lipo. See, this is the thing. Depending on which outlet you look at, they say she went and got liposurgery. Then another outlet say that she went and uh, stood by a friend that got liposurgery. Either way, it's crazy. You took your eight-month-old child 
Because I think the latter is the story. Because I don't see her getting surgery with an eight-month-old baby next to her in an operating room. So I think she went to go be with somebody that was getting liposuction. But either way, man, this is crazy. You got two daughters that have special needs. One of them slipped on the floor because the floor was messed up. Obviously, they didn't know how to take care of themselves. Another thing is this. Why do you always see women put the responsibilities of a parent on another child? That 10-year-old girl cannot handle two 7-year-old kids, let alone 7-year-old kids with special needs. Oh, I uh, screenshot them through the ring doorbell. I, I talked to them. I asked them, was they okay? I looked at the camera in the house. It's no excuse for that shit. It's no excuse. Do you know this woman, they gave her five years of uh, probation. And she has to stay a year in the house on house arrest. She didn't even get no jail time for this. That's crazy that somebody can pay, not pay child support and go to jail six months, a year, depending on how severe the charge is of not being a responsible father. But a woman can do some crazy stuff like that and still get out with a slap on the wrist. The justice system ain't shit. That is right there. There it is right there. They arrested her. My kids allowed to be left by themselves. Oh, okay, okay. This is stupid. I mean, it, it's outrageous. I looked at the uh, video of her being sentenced in court, and the camera was just on her face. When the judge was talking, she was bored. I guess she already knew she wasn't going to judge. She. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're your kids. You do what you want to do with them. But just like the judge told you in the uh, other video. When I watch the sentencing thing, as a mother, you're, more, you're supposed to be instinctively, maternally instinctive to want to protect your kids, make sure your kids are out of danger. Anything could have happened to them babies in that house. Hell, the cops knocked on the door and they opened the door. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what caused, I mean, I knew what caused it. That's just pure selfishness. But I mean, come on, it's nothing you could say that makes this right. Anything could have happened to them kids in that house. Now, you took the eight-month-old because you knew they couldn't handle an eight-month-old. But what about the ones that had special needs? The 10-year-old, shouldn't that shouldn't have been put on her neither. That's the thing, man. You see a lot of young kids having babies. A lot, a lot of times it's because they're taught to be uh, mothers at a young age. They, got, they take on the responsibilities. How many times y'all walked around somewhere and you was in the projects or something and you seen a girl with a baby on the hip? Just walking with a baby on the hip. Little girl. It's like they train early. That stuff is it's crazy. Listen. All in all. If you look at this whole thing. It's a supreme selfishness a lot of people have out here. When they have a lot of kids in a short period of time. That, that first child is 10 years old, right? She was 22. Then three years later, here come the twins. She was 25. Then she got an eight month old. If you look at the situation at a young age, in her early years where she really could have been establishing herself, going out there and you know doing this and that and having fun or whatever, she was held down as being a parent. Now I understand you wanna get away from your kids sometimes, but that right there is crazy foul. That's crazy foul. And the thing that hurts about this is she had help. She could have took the kids to her mom and them. They spoke in interview. Yeah. She had people here. It wasn't like she was by herself. And that's what makes this a hell of a lot worse. And that little slap on the wrist, she ain't learned nothing from that. Now, I'm not saying she need to go to prison or nothing, something like that. But, I mean, come on. What you did was fucked up. And to sit up in there with your duck lips like shit ain't bothering you, I'm done with it. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. This could have been a really bad disaster. It could have. Let's just keep it real.